They be like, yeah, come holla at me, girl. I got all this money. Don't be having no money for real, y'all. <laughs> Do you want a bite before I get mine? Because once I get mine, you ain't getting none. So I'm trying to share it with you now. <laughs> Your girl done got her nails done from the nail salon. Girl, how we looking? Ew, ew. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Another vlog. Hey, how you doing? This is actually a continuation from a vlog I just ended um, a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Y'all, it is Sunday, February 5th. So I have a vlog that's going up right now. And then I wanted to start this one because girl, this vlog this week that I'm posting right now, I'm upset with myself. First of all, it's up too late and it's too short. So I'm like, you know what, boo, we ain't doing that this week. Okay, you need to get a head start. Today is not Sunday, today is Monday. What, did I say Sunday? I think I said Sunday. So I say, you know what, girl, pick that camera up early in the week, get some footage, do some things, and get your life together. I'm laughing because I just watched a video of this girl talking about how people in her life always complaining about her always being alone. And I instantly thought about myself because y'all, I'm really always by myself. That doesn't mean I don't have people around me. Y'all just, most of the time, won't catch me by myself. I mean, is there something wrong with being by yourself? <laughs> I think people associate being by yourself and being lonely together, and that's not the case. Just because you enjoy being alone does not mean you're lonely. Okay, it never gave lonely, babe. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go get me some Chipotle. So I'm like, maybe we can chit chat and catch up a little bit, you know? And maybe y'all can tell me how mad y'all are at me uh, for posting that short ass vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to order my food. I don't know if y'all have a Chipotle drive through near y'all, but girl, when I tell you that's the best thing they ever did was put a drive through on Chipotle. The only thing about it is you have to put your order in online and then you pick it up at the drive through It's not like a regular drive through I'm debating between a quesadilla or a bowl. I'm thinking I'm going towards a quesadilla. Y'all, I've been eating a lot of Chipotle lately and it's not good, but we gonna eat it again. <laughs> I got a gift card on file, girl, so I just been ordering it up. I'm gonna do half chicken, half fajita peppers. I like to finesse them and try to get the sour cream on the side for free. And then when we get to the window, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to add on sour cream. Lion. <laughs> Cause they don't let you pick four sides. The vinaigrette, they're considering that as a side, which is crazy to me, but whatever. Why is it always boxes in my house? <laughs> Every time I, I turn on the camera, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta move over because it's the box in the way. I'm tired of moving the camera. At this point, y'all gonna see them damn boxes in the back until I take them out. Now I'm gonna keep trying to move the camera to adjust the fact that I have boxes. Yes, I do. One of them is from them nice stands that has been put up for a week now. The other one is from that mirror in my um bedroom, but I just gotta break them down, y'all. <gasps> oh my gosh, I forgot to use the coupon code, y'all. I had a coupon code to get a free queso. Wow, I could have got a free queso. They got a free queso coupon. I'm real, man. Y'all know how much I love coupons. <laughs> Two hours later. We are back at the crib. I got the goodies. Y'all, of course, I finessed my way to get some free sour cream. Why do y'all look crooked? And then I also got some <laughs> queso on the side. I got the vinaigrette, like I told y'all. And then the entree, I almost finessed with her at the window. I was like, I was about to say like, oh yeah, can I get a free queso? But she was gonna be like, girl, you want a sour cream and you want a queso? Girl, get out of my line. <laughs> so here we go, y'all. This is about to go down. I should've got some water. A cold water. Hold on, y'all, because I need a fork. Hold on. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. And then I got some chips on the side, y'all. So I was watching um Phil Colfer video, and it's so funny. He talking about, you know, plant-based and everything like that. And here I go, eating this stuff. <laughs> I said, hold on. I'm going to pause you real quick, Phil, until I'm done eating. Mmm. Hey. 
Baby, ain't nothing like that queso with that dip. I mean, with them chips. Hold on, one more time, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. I had a meeting earlier today at work, y'all. It actually went really well. They did like the um, annual performance uh, thing, whatever, how you did a recap over the year. And not trying to be funny, but I don't be too surprised when I have meetings like that because even though I may not care for working a nine to five, every job I've ever had, y'all, I always went super hard at it. Like I always was one of the top achievers at my job because when I'm at work, I take my work very seriously. With that being said, you know, she was going over everything and she was talking about my numbers and all of that. And she was really sweet of like the feedback that she left for me. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I intentionally go hard and do my best at work on purpose not to get acknowledgement though. Like I don't really care if, if we didn't have meetings like that or them to check in every, I think it's every quarter we have a meeting to follow up. If they didn't have that, I would be fine. Like I don't, I don't go hard at work to be acknowledged. I go hard for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't sit at no job. I don't care. Even my first job I ever had y'all was at Hardee's. That was my very first job. I was 16 years old. That's one of my favorite managers I've ever worked for. And when I tell y'all, if anybody was ever asked him to this day, how was I as a worker with that being my first job and I was only 16 years old, y'all, baby, I was going hard at Hardee's. <laughs> but my point in saying that is, even if you work in a job that you don't like, or if you know, oh, this is just temporary, or I just gotta do this to get on my feet, whatever it is, or whatever the reason may be, well, why you're working the job you're working, just do your best and go hard, right? Because if it's temporary, you don't ever want to be remembered as the person that was half at work or lazy or barely got, no. I don't need that on my name. Mm -mm. And like I said, I do it for myself. Anyway, I just ranted just a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> so I like to open mine up like that. Ooh, open that thing up. Put the corn in there, whatever side you got, put it in the inside. This is some greedy shit. <laughs> and then you take that mixture you just made and you just pour it on top like this. Oh my gosh. Baby, let me. Okay. Cheers. And then you take a bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Baby. Baby! <laughs> hey y'all, your girl is out of the shower. I'm coming in here to pour us some wine and then we're gonna go watch a movie. Ah! I know you guys wanna come and watch a movie with me, I get it. Y'all, let, let me tell you something real quick. I'm gonna try to whisper, really I don't care. So the people over me, y'all, it's always either somebody over me or under me that's just making a bunch of damn always it's like they moving furniture all day long and yes i'm talking to you last time the person under me dog was barking all day every day all night long now he didn't move i'm like okay peace and quiet and then now somebody move over me and they want to make a bunch of thumping noise letting their dog just run back and forth across <sighs> y'all at this point i just need my own house <laughs> because girl i complain about anybody that move over me or under me so we have our pretty wine glasses as y'all know i got last time i went to the store i'm learning that you do not need to put ice in your wine because it's stronger when it's warm but we are going to put these fresh fruit in here Ooh, i don't want no strawberries just blueberries and blackberries Ooh, you see got the fresh frozen bag okay Okay. Lord knows today been a long day, baby. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me with this bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pour up. Oh yeah, keep going. All right, that should be enough, y'all. I don't wanna sleep too. I'm gonna sleep too good drinking this. Oh child, even though you're not supposed to drink on your cycle because that makes it worse. But baby, guess what? <laughs> Pull up because the day was long. So this is one of my favorite wines, y'all. It's so basic. I'm so basic for drinking this wine, but I don't care. This is the Sutter Home Sweet 
red, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have completely watched Snowfall, y'all. Matter of fact, let's talk about Snowfall. We're going to go sit down and go in the bedroom and like mind our business and get cozy. I got to be careful, though, because my covers are white and I am clumsy. So i see y'all in the room. Bye. I am convinced I'm an old lady. Am I the only one that go to sleep with my heating pad? <laughs> I don't play, I don't play. Hold on, let me make sure it's heated up. The cramps is killing me, it's killing me. Let me stop saying that. That's not the right words to use. These cramps is taking me out. We gonna say that, not killing me, cause that ain't the right words to say. So cheers. Let's have a sip. Whoo. Baby, ain't nothing like that first sip of wine. I don't care what you say, especially after a long day. Before we find a movie, y'all, I want to talk about Snowfall because, girl, I binge watch Snowfall, y'all, in five days or six days. Let me know if y'all seen Snowfall or not. Baby, when I tell you that show is addicting, but I feel like the whole overall purpose of that show is just to let people know to not be greedy. And another thing, too, y'all, like, if y'all have not seen it, don't go watch your little clips and stuff on TikTok. Because TikTok will make you think that the end should not have happened the way that it did. Because when I was watching the clips on TikTok, I was like, oh my gosh, how could his family do that? How could they do that? And then when you watch it, it's like, um, I can see why it ended the way it did, right? You couldn't have thought that you was going to get away with all the things that you did and how you mistreated people and thought you was going to end up in a better position. As far as a movie to watch. Now this right here, y'all. This movie is really good. Y'all should watch this if you have never watched this before. This is Saltburn. I also see a lot of people talking about this show. I guess we're gonna see what it's about, y'all. We're just gonna get into it. Why not? Why not? Oh, they getting straight to it, y'all. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. Let me make sure ain't nothing in my teeth, y'all, because I had a smoothie this morning. Okay, nothing is in my teeth because I still have my retainers in and I'm still drinking my smoothie. You actually not supposed to be drinking anything with your trays in, but who cares? Cheers to another day. Happy Tuesday. Mm. I just made a little TikTok video on how I made that smoothie, but it is currently 7.50 in the morning. I missed the gym today because girl, when I tell you them cramps had me in a knot. I was balled up this morning. I'm gonna go to the gym later on, but I did miss it this morning. But I wanted to come on here really quick and say good morning. And then also say our little word for today. I don't have to work until 8.30, so I'm gonna just take my time. And also, y'all, I fell asleep last night on the first episode of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but I'm about to watch it as I'm working because it was so, it was good. It was good so far. So the word for today, y'all, is successful and happy living is built into you by God who created you. If you have never experienced this kind of life, maybe you need to be recreated. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's for February 6th, y'all. And also, do y'all notice that I got a new head thing. <laughs> my hair is still done, but it's just wrapped up. And I found this in my drawer and I was like, oh my goodness, I did not know I had this. Y'all know I love my genie one. But this one is cuter because it got a little rose on there. So I think I want to go to the movies today. So I'll catch up with y'all later because the movies is $6 today on a Tuesday. And I really have been wanting to see that Wonka movie. Catch up with you guys later. I'm doing good so far with the vlog and it's Tuesday and we back on the camera. <laughs> that was funny. I cannot lie. Oh, Your girl didn't got her nails done from the nail salon, girl. How we looking? Ew, ew. <laughs> Y'all, the nails is on. Shout out to the press ons. Y'all already know. This is the same kind of set that I had before, but I need to start getting me some new ones now. Hold on, y'all, because they play on my man at the airport, keep delaying his flight. 
Okay, because hey, he told me, yeah, they call them. I'm calling them people, y'all. One thing about me, I just told y'all yesterday, I don't play with no customer service. They delay his flight for some type of issue with the plane, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> Don't get me started about that. Y'all ready to eat? Cause I know I am, y'all. It's time for me to get some new pots too. What do you say? Hold on. It's time for me to get some new pots, y'all. I done had these pots since I lived here. And I almost been living here for two years. So how long do y'all be keeping y'all pots for? I don't play by my men. <laughs> I don't even think I got no eggs left. Hold on, y'all, cause I go to the grocery store tomorrow. Y'all, we literally have two eggs. <laughs> These are the breakfast patties we are eating. These are sponsored by Trader Joe's, holla at me. These are fire, y'all. So I just put two in the pan. Girl, look at them nails. Them nails is just giving what it needs to give, honey. Wait a minute. I think you were supposed to open it the other way, but it's all good. So we're just gonna put two of those in a pan. I'm actually not gonna make the eggs yet because I wanna wait until the sausages are almost done. So I'm put some frozen fruit in here, y'all to like defrost because I also want to make me a small little parfait on the side with my breakfast. I have not had a parfait in a while, so I'm excited. By the time my food is ready, those should be ready to go. Let's make sure that this dang on um, yogurt did not go bad. Let's see. Look good to me. Of course we have to get our granola and our honey to go on top. This is the oats and honey granola with toasted coconut. So good with a little bit of honey. Let's give these a little turn. Y'all don't need nothing in the pan with these. Just put them in the pan by themselves. That's it. Let's get these eggs together, y'all. Got two eggs. You know, I like this girl named Ashley Cunningham on TikTok, y'all. She's a chef. And I be learning so much stuff from her. I love watching her. And plus, she's an Aries, so. <laughs> anyway, my point in bringing her up is because she said that you are not supposed to season your eggs or put any salt in your eggs in specific until they cook a little bit in the pan. So ever since she said that, I said, okay, girl, you the chef. I'm going to listen to you, girl. Ooh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I like to move my eggs around. Pretty sure y'all know how to make scrambled eggs, but I be watching Ash on TikTok. Y'all gotta follow her. I love her so much. So we're gonna do a little bit of salt, just a little bit. I'm, I'm mad that I'm over here talking to y'all like y'all know how to make no eggs. <laughs> and some pepper. Just a little bit of that pepper. I don't even think I have any cheese, y'all. This is about to be a low budget meal, but it's gonna work though. <laughs> Not me having this little bit of cheese. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> you gotta shake the bag real good, girl. Breakfast is looking absolutely delicious. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. These, gotta get them from Trader Joe's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what these eggs taste like with this barely having any cheese in there. Not too bad. Anyway, y'all, my camera going dead. I'll see y'all later. Probably we better go to the movies when I get off of work. I haven't gotten my ticket yet. I actually need to do that now. Yeah, I need to do that now. So I'm gonna look to see if it's still in theater for the Wonka. And if so, we are gonna go after we get off of work. Mm. I just got the shower. I gotta leave out in a minute because I told y'all I'm going to the movies. So before I leave out and get dressed, I wanted to show y'all something. Have y'all ever seen one of these before? I found out about this from off of TikTok, y'all. I don't know what it's called, but basically if you have like items, like sweat items or upholstery kind of material in your house and you want to get those stubborn little lint pieces that don't come off when you try to just use the, um, what's it called? The lint roller. You got to use one of these. This I think this is called a a lint something. I don't know what it's called, but this sweatshirt I got right here, y'all, have a bunch of little lint pieces on there because I washed it with something that I was not supposed to wash it with. And girl, I can't get it off. So, I ended up ordering this off of Amazon. I will link it in my storefront. 
And y'all, when I tell you this thing worked magic, I already used it on my headboard in my bedroom because the pillows was leaving those little lip ball things I'm telling y'all about. But I'm about to show y'all real quick. Hold on. Hold on, girl. Hold on. This has like a lot of little lint pieces on there that I can't get off. So I'm going to use this. Girl, look at that. Magic. Another thing this is good for y'all, if y'all have like sweatpants and y'all know like certain material sweatpants in the middle part where you know them thighs rub up against each other, girl. You know how them little lint pieces be there? This will help this come off. Oh, yes, y'all. The things I find on TikTok. I found out about this on TikTok. Look at that. Can y'all really see? Y'all probably can't even really tell. But I'll be back when it's time to get dressed because I'm not done fully working yet either. So I am dressed. I'm going to show you how to fit in a second. But yeah, I'm out the door. I'm running behind a little bit, girl. And hold on, y'all. Before I go, let me show y'all what I'm bringing with me. <laughs> Put it right in the purse, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no snacks, which is cool. I get some food when I get there, but I'm definitely bringing me a poppy. So anyway, we are gonna go see Wonka. I guess it's like a remake of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but we will see. This is the fit with the kicks. Fit with the kicks. Fit. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Your girl is on the move for early. Well, not that early. It's all it's one o'clock, girl. I've been working this morning. I went and took a run outside, got in the shower, got my life together, and now I gotta go get my feet done and go pick my groceries up. So I think I'm gonna go get my feet done first, obviously and then pick my groceries up and then come back, clean the refrigerator out, which I should have did earlier, but whatever, and then put the groceries in there. I'm so excited. So I forgot that T-Mobile Tuesday was yesterday and they got a Black History Month notebook and like a free download or something that you come pick up, girl. And I just went and picked mine up and look at it, y'all. It's so cute. It's so stinking cute. The man gave me two. I only was supposed to get one, but it got stickers in there, the Black History Month stickers. So if y'all have T-Mobile, well, by the time y'all see this vlog, it'll be a whole week from now. But yeah, if y'all have T-Mobile, sign up for T-Mobile Tuesdays, girl. Okay, shout out to the Black History Month. Happy Black History Month to y'all too. So I am waiting for my groceries now, y'all at HEB. This is a luxury, okay? If y'all don't grocery shop online and pick up y'all order if you have that option, what is you doing? It saves so much time. Like when I need to go pick up a little few things, I go to the grocery store, I walk around, grab it. But when I'm going like full on grocery shopping, y'all, no ma'am, no ma'am. Get somebody else to do it. I changed my mind on getting my feet done, y'all, right now. I'm going to just wait till Saturday when I'm off again because I never really enjoy my Wednesdays in the middle of the week being off. It seems like I'm always doing something. Like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And it's like, okay, you need to relax. But I don't know how to relax for too long, y'all. I can't sit still for too long because I feel like it's so much to do and there's always something to do that if I sit for too long, I feel like I'm not being productive. We have the groceries. Y'all, I had to take my own bags to the car and put whew, the HEB bags inside of it because girl, I was not trying to do more than one trip. I'm excited though, y'all, cause I got some donuts. <laughs> I got some of them HEB donuts, y'all. And I'm about to eat one of those. That's gonna give me some motivation. They give y'all a grocery haul. Here is the donuts. Y'all, I took the everything out of the bag, but I told y'all I need a little bit of motivation. Baby, let me be your motivation. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for this donut. Amen. Y'all want some? You want a bite? Do you want a bite before I get mine? Because once I get mine, you ain't getting none. So I'm trying to share it with you now. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I ain't gonna eat the whole thing, y'all. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to save some for later. <laughs> we're going to save some for later. Mm -hmm. I blame my boo for these because he loved getting these from H-E-B. I never got their donuts, but he got them one time. And I tried them. I said, oh. Mm -mm. So I sat down, y'all, because I'm tired of standing up. And I need to take this hat off. I need to make sure my hair stays in place, girl. Because I do want to go outside this weekend. So we're going to put our little, our little rose thing on. Ooh! <laughs> so we're going to do a little grocery haul. So I got some soup dumplings. These are the chicken and vegetable. Check. Then I got me three pounds of salmon. Two and a half pounds of wild caught shrimp so the 93 percent lean seven percent fat ground turkey next we have fruits and vegetables so blackberries watermelon strawberries red onions for my salad i got some grapefruit i got gala apples the best apples you can ever eat also got a tomato i also got a cucumber i want to use this for my lemon and cucumber water because i don't really eat cucumbers in my salad like i used to some spinach for my smoothies and for my salad. I have some avocados, of course. Some lemons, of course. I also have some sweet potatoes. I have some Brussels sprouts. Some ginger. I got some fresh kale. I got some organic bananas. Also got some yellow squash. I also got lettuce leaves, y'all. I use these to make some tacos. I got some Tuscan broccoli and some cauliflower rice. I really didn't need too many of these because I already have some still in the freezer. Turkey bacon, yogurt for my parfaits. I got cheese. Y'all, these right here, bussin'. Did I tell y'all that I like seaweed? <laughs> Y'all, I literally put these on my tongue and just let them melt. They are so good. Oh, that's my boo already now. But yes, these are so good, y'all. So good. If you have not tried these seaweed, get this one right here. I got some banana peppers for my salad. Then I got my tuna. This is how the guys be on the, um, Instagram with their money. They be like, yeah, come holla at me, girl. I got all this money. Don't be having no money for real, y'all. <laughs> I also grab two more of these juices. Y'all, these are so good. I also got me some kombucha. Y'all already know I love me some kombucha. Shout out to Healthy. Healthy, holla at your girl. Give me a little sponsorship or something, you know what I'm saying? And then finally, I have some eggs. Of course, we have to have eggs, duh. Do y'all think that was worth $200? Everything I showed y'all, including the water? Let me know. Your girl is tired. So I didn't get a chance to clean my fruits and vegetables. I'll do it at another time, y'all. I just want to put everything away. But I'm going to chill for a little bit and relax and decompress and eat the other half of my donut. <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another day of the vlog. It's Saturday, happy Saturday. Your girl just did her hair, got dressed, on our way out the door. I wanna go to happy hour. I'ma try to go to the sushi happy hour before seven. It just turned five, so I got enough time. It's called Top Sushi. I actually think I went there before on one of these vlogs. I don't know. But let me show y'all the fit real quick because we on our way out the door. You don't mind my blind on the floor, y'all, it broke. When I tell y'all this top right here feels so good and so stretchy, Baby, Target be giving, okay? And I also got these sweatpants from Target. I'm gonna move back so y'all can see the sweats. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Hopefully y'all was able to see my whole outfit, but we are on our way out the door. I need some shades, and I'm putting on a little bit more perfume. Hold on real quick. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished when I bought that ass tomorrow. Y'all thought it was raining flexing on these because I'm like, pop out with the spinach. Hold on, y'all. Be right back. Blue. 
This is the red Zara Temptation. I told y'all about this already. Get it if you haven't got it already. I give you so much already, but whoa! Had to make sure we smell real fresh and real good. <laughs> and real fresh and real good. All right, let's go. I got too many, but I still love you. Be doing shit that nobody knows. But I've been working all day. Lately, I've been thinking about us. About us, about us. I can't leave you alone. Y'all, I'm so excited because this sushi place, I think this was the place where I had that lychee martini. Baby, that thing was 10 out of 10. So I think that's this place. I really do. I have a strong feeling that this was where I got that lychee martini from. Nobody screaming like you. I was having vision with you. We have made it to Top Sushi. This is a different location. I don't think I've been here before, but. I'm excited because it's big. Hopefully, I don't look all crazy with this camera, y'all. Because the bigger places be, the more nervous I be to vlog, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I might vlog on my phone. Put my phone on. Let me see what the percentage is. It's on 50. Is that enough, y'all? I don't know. I'm going to just hide my camera. <laughs> and if it's too many people, I'm not going to vlog on my camera. But if it's safe, we're going to vlog on the camera. So, I see y'all inside. Your girl is back at the crib. Y'all, I'm kind of tired now. Whew! I'm kind of tired. That little martini did it for me. Got me feeling relaxed. But part of me want to set up the hookah, y'all, and part of me don't. I can go outside if I want, but I don't know if I feel like putting on clothes and dressing up and going out, y'all, honestly. I kind of want to relax. I feel like an old lady right now on a Saturday night in the house at 7.30. 7.30, 7.30, girl, on a Saturday. I need to know, is this enough ice cream for ice cream cone? <laughs> I got some cones, right? But I only got this little bit of ice cream left. Let's see if we can make anything of this. Because I'm still kind of hungry, y'all. That soup and salad, I mean, it did what it need to do. I don't feel like I want no more food. <laughs> but I do want a little snack. Let's see what we can do, y'all, with this little bitty bitty ice cream. We might can make it out of something. Let's catch a flight, change the weather. And I promise forever. Hold on, y'all. We might can do a little sign. We might can do a little one, two, one, two. <laughs> so far, this all we got. <laughs> this all we got. Oh my goodness. This ain't no dang on cone, y'all. This cone will be small as hell. Lord. It's all gone. Let me show y'all what I got. <laughs> we gotta work with what we got. Cheers, you want some? <laughs> anyway, y'all, catch y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, happy Sunday. Y'all, it is Sunday already. I feel like this week has went by so slow. So anyway, y'all, good morning. I have a lot to do today for my apartment. I'm not going anywhere today, um, but I am gonna get my life together to get myself prepared for the week that's coming. I need to drink some water. I haven't drank any water yet, y'all. Yeah. So let's do that really quick because I'm sounding like somebody's uncle. <coughs> Jesus, y'all. I had to put the ice maker on because I don't have no ice. Hold on. <coughs> Woo! Did I sleep too good? Like. <laughs> Lately, I have been going on a morning run for the past four days. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna keep doing it because it feels good. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I might regret it because I know it's about to mess my hair up. But we get our hair done on Wednesday. So that's in three days. So I'm cool with messing my hair up because I don't have any intentions on going anywhere until I get my hair done. I'm gonna put some leggings on in the top, but I wanted to tell y'all, I thought it was so funny because remember I told y'all I thought it was a bug over there 
in that corner with my leggings. Girl, it ain't no damn bug over there. I finally decided to pick up a pair of leggings over there after like a week of not touching that area. And when I tell y'all, girl, it was no bug, I was like, really? You just dramatic. Y'all, the first way you able to tell if you need to cut back is trying on clothes that you used to, well, you were able to fit before comfortably and then trying them on now. Baby, it's these certain pair of jeans that fit me so good. And it wasn't that I was super skinny when I was wearing them, but I'm like, hold on y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even get a button. I can't button them. I say no. No ma'am, no ma'am. We are ready. I need to put some socks on, my sneakers, a jacket, and head out. Also, I wanted to ask y'all, what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? Do y'all like Valentine's Day? Do y'all celebrate Valentine's Day? Do y'all care? If y'all in a relationship, you know, I got a question too, right? If you've been in a relationship with your boo for a while, like a couple years, do y'all really expect something every year for Valentine's Day? Or do y'all just not look at it the same anymore? Is it like just a beginning of the relationship kind of hype? Or is this something that y'all, I'm talking to women, obviously. Is it something that y'all enjoy no matter if y'all one year in, two year in, five years in, do y'all still enjoy getting something or doing something on Valentine's Day? Two hours later. I'm feeling like Stella got our groove back. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I'm not that hungry right now. I need to catch my breath, girl. See, that's why I need to just start running again. Because the last time I was vlogging, y'all, and I was, you know, running out of breath. And I'm like, yo, why do I keep running out of breath? I thought it was because I had that pizza. And that could have been the case, but I think something backed up. Like, I need to get my breathing back right. But I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to eat a full meal. But I am going to get a little snack. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a little snack snack. So, let me show y'all what I'm going to get. I'm going to eat one of these. These are the, y'all, do y'all hear that dog? Do y'all hear him? He do that all night. Listen to him. Imagine living somewhere paying over a thousand dollars in rent and all you hear is that. Anyway, y'all, this is what I'm gonna eat. It has cheese, dried cranberries, dark chocolate, and Banana chips. Yo, that dog just barked all night, y'all. I can't, I can't. This is another reason why I'm moving from out here. Because it seems like they animals out here. Well, dogs, because it ain't animals, it's just dogs. Just bark and just all night. Like, do y'all not know how to train y'all 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 dog? Like, it's given that you don't want to hear it in the house, so you put them outside on the deck to hear it for everybody else to hear it all night long. Girl, it's just so annoying. Well, anyway, don't get me started. Let's take a bite. Mmm, bless him. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited because yesterday I watched The Notebook for the first time and it was like, it was so sad, you know? I'm such a lover girl, but I love The Notebook. I wanna love like The Notebook. But girl, I was saying yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, I would really love to watch Pretty Woman. And girl, I'm clicking on here now, you know, trying to find something to watch while we clean. And I found Pretty Woman on Hulu. <laughs> it's not a love story. Well, sorta kinda, but nothing like The Notebook. But this is my movie, okay? This, this is my movie. Let me find out Hulu be having the good stuff. do need to start prepping some food. I have some rotisserie chicken already cut up, so I don't need to do that. But I do need to make this salmon that I had in the fridge now, I think for two days. So I do not want that to go bad, babe, because that's like two pounds of fish. So I gotta make that, and then I'm gonna just make some vegetables. This is a wild caught fresh salmon. 
from H-E-B. I absolutely love getting my salmon from H-E-B. And I love getting it wild caught, y'all. Can y'all see that? This is going to be so good this week because I love making my salads with salmon. This is how long the strip is. I love just eating the salmon with some um, fresh vegetables. This cut into four slices. Now, usually they are not this big. So I'm going to cut them one more time because these are huge. So we're going to cut them across. Shout out to them shears. Hold on. We're going to put it back in the bowl, y'all, because we got to put it in some vinegar. Now that it is all cut up and nice and fine. New load is in. Salmon is getting cleaned up in that water and vinegar. It's time to crack us open a wet. Poppy! We are gonna do the orange one. This is my absolute fave, but we're not gonna crack it without nails because y'all know these is press-ons. So I be doing a little too much sometimes thinking that I got my nails done at the shop, baby. These ain't shop nails, these press-ons. So they will be lifted. So ASMR. And then we have our glass straw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that should be good. We're gonna make that on there like that. The first thing I like to do is put on the garlic paste first so that it can kind of stick onto the salmon. You know? And then I just brush it on there like that. I put my boo on. He be <laughs> he be doing this now. I be like, yeah, I see you learning things from me. Cause he he swear he not to cook better than me, y'all, and he do not. Next thing I like to use is Obey seasoning. I'm from Maryland, so Baltimore to be exact. And baby, we love some Obey. Not a lot, cause it is high in sodium, and you're gonna be using other stuff too. Garlic powder, just a little bit. Paprika. I was gonna use smoked paprika, but I don't know if I got a taste for that. So now you just wanna brush this all into your salmon front and back. What I like to do, y'all, is put a piece of butter on every piece of salmon. And then I'm gonna put the lemon right on top of the piece of butter. Okay, that's pretty, I like it. Oh, so cute, let me take a picture. These are the two vegetables. I'm gonna make which is the Tuscan broccoli. I feel like I've told y'all about this so many times. My favorite. And then some cauliflower rice. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's buzzer. That is it for this vlog. Your girl is tired. I need a little nappy nap. So I have to edit. I will see y'all in the next vlog. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for what? Clicking on that video. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.